I will leave the link below to the first video so you guys can see the prologue and all that. But I skipped ahead and we are gonna try what y'all dirty mother freakers suggested. The mystery movie, you dirty freaking. So many of the comments were like, if you want a show, click on the mystery one. So that's what we're gonna do, you little shits. I'm kidding, I love you all so much. So let's read description of mystery movie. The crime of the century. It can be figured out by anyone ever. There's plenty of mysteries to be solved around us already, but maybe this would sharpen our senses a bit and give us some ideas. I hope it's not a movie I've seen already. If so, I'll try not to spoil it for you. Spoiling mysteries is one of the worst things anyone can do to another person. I'm gonna pick mystery, you dirty, dirty fucks. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's watch the mystery movie, I guess. Hinata felt like he'd been getting pretty good at solving mysteries lately. However, grim the circumstances, so maybe it would be a nice change of pace to have the outcome be irrelevant to his continued existence. Wonderful choice, I think, objectively. This should be the most interesting pick. I'm really looking forward to watching a movie with you. Oh, I love him! Hinata felt a swell of excitement jitter through his fingertips. I'm most really looking forward to seeing a movie too, I guess. They both tapped the selection in their handbooks, nearly synchronized, and the lights dimmed even more, fading until only the rope lights lining the aisles could be seen in the darkness. Ooh, it gets so dark! The screen stayed black as a familiar sound faded in, the sound of the ocean. A few waves scratched gently in the surround sound, the high-pitched screech of seagulls peppering the peaceful monotony, realistic and clear as if the birds were circling the theater, as if Hinata and Komaida were standing outside on their beach at this very moment. The expected imagery finally appeared on screen, footage of the peaceful sea at midday slowly pulling back to reveal a sandy shore. Hinata's mind instantly went to the first day on the island, recalling the feeling that he could still be connected to his old daily life through the vast sky and the ocean that was the same no matter what shore you were standing on. Even in this movie, the color of the water was the same, the color of the sand, the rocky outcrop in the distance, the position of the palm trees, the mana mana machine was the same? Okay. He not a swallowed audibly. It seemed like a Jabberwock had been used as a set in films before, and also plausible that a local theater would have such a film on hand, but... Hinata cast a glance to his right, Komaida's eyes were glittering with intrigue, and wide enough that Hinata could see the ocean scene reflected in them. And then he saw his own face reflected there, and his full attention whipped back to the movie. The Hinata on screen was running towards the sea, innocent and relatively cheerful. Who was this person? about to join his classmates already playing in the water. Oh, they were filming them! Who would have expected that the cameras filming us all this time were actually film quality? Was this really from their first day on the island? Why the hell were these shots so good? The camera from the single was clearly following him. He definitely would have noticed something like that, right? That's so creepy! <laughs> Monokuma! What's wrong with you? A lot of things. I control them. The scene panned to the faces of friends, several who were no longer with them, laughing, splashing, aww, aww, rapi! Simultaneously fresh in his memory as living, breathing people, and cases in need of investigation. It was hard to watch, but if he recalled correctly, they were all about to be interrupted by Monokuma in this opening scene anyway. That scene didn't happen. Instead, it abruptly awkwardly cut to inside the restaurant. It must have been after the first trial. Hinata was pretty sure he remembered this being the day after, but then another cut to his own face. That's so creepy! Someone has stolen my underwear! What the fuck? What's happening here? Who could have done this? A teary-eyed Hinata shouted, lingering on the scene long enough for him to process it being in the old building. What? what? Komaida slapped a hand over his mouth far too late to hide the rasping laughter. It was actually shocking to see him laugh at something he seemed to find funny and not whatever he was usually laughing about. What the freak? I miss them! Underwear! Holy crap! They were my only friend! What the hell is this? He nodded, shouted, suddenly, suddenly hyper aware that he was probably providing another excellent reaction shot to some unseen camera. He nodded. <laughs> Look at Komaida's eyes are all starry. 
Holy freakazoid! Hinata kun, someone has stolen your treasured underwear! Komaeda was having way too much fun with this premise, and it was actually horribly cute to see him having what appeared to be a good time, even at Hinata's expense. I'm I'm glad this is funny to you, but aren't you the least bit worried about why this high quality footage exists? It was my only one pair! A fucking pair! Monokuma, you have freaky- where did I throw him? You have issues, Monokuma, okay? Uh, hey man. Oh, I love Soda! I think I found your underpants. Is it despair? No, not that! Pear! What the fuck? This is crazy! Oh my god. Hinata mashed his palms into his eyes. This is so stupid. It is a little troubling. Komaida agreed, sounding remarkably untroubled. No one wants that. Smelly stuff. We have to work together to s underwear. If only I, Tanaka Gundam, fucking hell, had used for human underworld, I would have taken it myself. Why would you want Hinata's underwear? But. It was not I, Tanaka Gundam. Hasn't Tanaka-kun ever said the word underwear before? The dizzling cuts continued, weaving together an absolutely nonsensical setup for a mystery. So the whole mystery is Hinata's underwear. I'll give you props there, Monokuma. Hinata groaned, then lightly elbowed Komaida. I haven't seen much of you in this yet. Do you even show up on film? I simply lack presence. The human eye is obviously more drawn to people radiating with talent. Baby, shush! Someone like me would never be presented prominently in a film, no matter how. Hinata-kun, you don't need to be ashamed. I've already seen much more than this. What? What's happening? I might not know the answer, but who needs the assistance of a worthless person like me? I'll tell you if you get down on your knees and lick my shoes. Oh! 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 My baby what? Well, there you are. Can I borrow your underwear? Komaida! God damn it. Oh my god! You have to take them off of me first, Hinata-kun. And then you can take anything from me that you want. I'll give you anything. Dear Lord, have mercy on my soul! Okay, Monokuma, I'm I love you. You're doing a great job, baby. Komaida's barely edited at all. This is bullshit! Did you ask for this, Komaida? Did you, like, willingly do this for Monokuma? He'd grown used to the scenes cutting. Or were they in the room after the pool scene? <gasps> Conspiracy theory! Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Shane Dawson. This time it didn't change, and Hinata had to stop and process where it had landed. Oh, it was in his fucking bedroom at night. Cool, great. Maybe it was his imagination, but it seemed like the lens had softened, given the dim close-up of a heavy-lidded Komaida in a dreamy haze. Oh no. No, 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 no! Komaida shifted in his seat and then took a decidedly long drag from his Dr. Hopper. Putting my face on such a large screen, this is honestly box office poison. The next shot could have conceivably been from the camera that Hinata always knew was in his bathroom, but forced himself not to think about it. Monokuma, that's disgusting and wrong! The angle was about right, high up and pointed directly at his bed where Hinata and Komaido from probably a week ago sat facing- OH GOD! The footage was grainy and the colors more desaturated now. Much more like what he imagined surveillance video to look like. So it's gonna look like a low quality porno. He heard Komaida giggle on screen. And then he gracefully peeled his shirt off, arching his back as he slipped it off his arms and folded it loosely behind him. Dear Lord! Hinata watched himself lean back into his pillow as Komaida crawled into his lap. What the fuck? That sick bastard really has been filming us! Well, what did you think was going on with all those cameras, Hinata-kun? I don't know, freaking hopscotch! But, but, like, is this some kind of sick joke? Yes. I suspect that's exactly what it is. And the audio quality was as crisp as if their embarrassing makeout sounds had been re-recorded in a studio. Hinata covered his eyes with his hands, but his treacherous fingers remained parted just enough to see his tongue push its way into Komaida's mouth. That must have been hilarious. Imagine other people going to the theater seeing that. And he didn't have and he didn't have enough hands to also cover his ears, so he heard him moan 
echoing across the high ceiling. We have to stop this, right? Destroy the footage or burn down the theater, or both, just to be safe. What if someone walks in? I'm fairly certain that destroying property is still against the rules. Perhaps this actually is intended to be a motive. Is that the extent of your hope? Are you willing to kill to prevent others from seeing a video like this? Do you want them to watch it, Komaida? Uh, I don't want my baby to be sad. Uh, I will just say no because I want my baby to be happy. Uh, n no, it, it's just on screen he knocked his hands were working their way into Komaida's mm, as he rolled his hips encouragingly. <laughs> Hinata was trying hard to remember what this was leading up to. It started like so many evenings had recently, and he couldn't be expected to remember every single time Komaida had been involved in his personal space. On screen, Hinata squeezed on screen Komaida's ass, eliciting a gasp from both Komaida's at once. God, Hinata had no memory of this. Well, not exactly like this. Maybe it was CGI. Apparently reliving the moment. Hinata sank down into his seat and stuck his hand in the popcorn beside him, riffling through it like he was looking for something. He returned a big handful to his mouth, crunching down on the buttery bits loudly enough to briefly drown the moaning on the screen. That must have been so embarrassing, oh my god. On screen, Komaida abruptly dropped into on screen Hinata's lap, tugging the waistband of his boxers away from his hips and dipping his oh god down to get a better look. He not to nearly choked when he suddenly exposed to the theater a polite mass of shifting mosaic pixels. Oh my god! That did little to protect his dignity. Holy freakazoid! He swallowed the popcorn and coughed hard enough that Komaida began worried. I did tell you that the popcorn was dangerous at the theaters, Hinata-kun. Are you alright? <coughs> I'm fine. Oh, look. On screen, Komaida was now fully leaned into Hinata's lap, head bobbing. Oh, Lord, hell. Oh my god! The camera panned slowly down Hinata's face before cutting to a much more revealing shot of Komaida looking earnestly at the mosaic in his hand. Oh god, I can't watch this. Hinata groaned, continuing to watch it. The continuity is horrible. You were clearly wearing the missing underwear referenced earlier, and have been seen clutching mine already as well. Unless this is intended to be a flashback, we can leave if you want. Komaida made no move to get up. Cause you wanna watch, huh? It must be disgusting to be reminded of all the times you've wasted with me. And in high definition, no less. It it's really, really not about that. He not to try opening Monokuma's app again on his handbook to see if there was like a pause feature or something, but all that appeared on the black screen was enjoy your movie. We can't just we can't just leave. If anything, Hinata would rather barricade the door. <laughs> sure, they'd be trapped inside, but that was better than the alternative. The idea that this could continue on a huge screen while God knows what is revealed to God knows who. Oh, do you want to know the mystery of who stole your underwear? I suspect that they're setting it up to be me. The filmmaker may see me as the type of character. This scene can't go on long, right? Wasn't there a mystery to solve? But it continued. In agonizing detail. Hinata didn't even remember it lasting this long in real life. Uh, wasn't, what wasn't I supposed to be borrowing your underwear? <laughs> really taking the long road to get there, huh? I guess we shouldn't expect a film like this to have a cohesive plot, right? It was weird to hear Komaida making a reference to porn. Like he was some kind of regular person who just sat and watched porn. Hinata startled when he heard his own stifled whimpering spike echoing out of the speakers, prickling his skin and leaving him with a viscular, with a visceral sensation. It should have been purely humiliating, and it definitely was, but wrapped in that shame was a part of him that didn't want to miss the opportunity to watch himself get off in the third person. That is horrid! On screen, Hinata's toes curled into the mattress on either side of Komaida's thighs, and one of his knees bent sharply and suddenly as he gripped on Komaida's hair tightened into a fist. He suddenly felt Komaida's fingertips on his thighs, a light touch at first, hesitantly applying more pressure until his hand rested fully and intentionally on his leg. Ooh, this is where it gets hypey, this is where all y'all motherfreakers came to the yard. Haven't we learned our lesson about cameras? Well, it's not like it can get any worse than what's already on film. Mm -hmm. I want to insinuate, like I want to. Let's, well, it's not like it can get any worse. 
despite the camera pointed right at them and the extremely unsettling implication that there were somehow more he couldn't see. They were clearly already caught on camera. It wasn't like it could get any worse. Hinata unfastened his belt buckle, sliding, oh lord have mercy. Humming softly next to him, Komaeda leaned against his shoulder while they both stopped to admire Hinata's blatant interest in the mystery movie. Right. Look at his eyes, Komaeda, you are down to freakazoid. I guess this was a good choice of a film after all. His long fingers crept into the soul, la 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 lord have mercy on my soul. But the relief he not expected was drowned out by a different sensation. Oh, cold! He snapped his hips, jerked at the frigid, strangly, clamsy feeling of Komaida's hand on him. Uh, I I'm sorry. He hurriedly wiped his hand off his pants, bumping against the dewy dripping. Oh, the soda. Uh, I'm. Grab his wrist and pull him back. Let Komaida decide what to do next. Mmm. 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 Girl. Boy. Lord have mercy. Lord. I ain't that freaking religious, but. Oh, Lord. I'm going to hell, okay? You know what? I'm going to do a naughty thing and I'm going to go and grab Komaida's hand and put it back on this dick. <laughs> he grabbed his thin wrist and pulled his hand back down, wrapping his fingers over top of Komaida's and pressing his hand firmly against. Dear Lord, Komaida let out a shocked, wheezing clap. <laughs> Something funny. Uh, not funny. Look at his face. <laughs> He's like, according to plan, bitch. He laughed again, a crumbling sound. Komaida watched wide-eyed in the darkness as Hinata lifted his hips, crying, oh lord, <laughs> see, you're, <laughs> y'all can read that. Oh, I, I guess I. Komaida choked midsection, swallowing his words instead, and just nodded urgently against Hinata's shoulders. Aw, they're so cute. Oh my god, I know what they're doing. I literally just realized what they were doing. Oh, lord have mercy. Now that Komaida's hand was the much more tolerable temperature, he had to pull himself through the opening of his mm, to press Komaida's against his bear. Um, okay. Komaida seemed completely entranced by Hinata's grip on him, and even part of Hinata hadn't expected that he'd be holding on this tightly. He dragged Komaida's palm across the head of his whoop, leaving a damp trowel. Oh lord! <laughs> on screen, Hinata was melting into the bed. On screen, Komaida had taken a break to stop and have a rather on one side of conversation. Well, shit. D excitedly described something he'd seen at the beach? Well, something about a squid. This was apparently the second time Hinata was hearing this, and for the second time, did not process a single word. Not one. Oh lord, I will, dear lord, I will censor all of this. Not wanting the Komaida beside him to get distracted as well, he curled his middle finger. Oh dear lord, god have mercy. He start, mm -hmm, things are happening. Y'all can read this shit. I'm trying to not get demonetized. Zip through, come on, dear lord, things are happening. Oh my god, my baby, oh my god, so lewd, so lewd. He not just started to apologize, but Komaida was definitely the one responsible for the state, but he'd pull himself in and probably didn't want to hear it. Hinata melted back into the seat, head tipped back so he could try to settle his breathing. Oh no, did I seriously not? It didn't look like it was edited. Hinata had been laying down in the same position he'd been collapsed. Wow. Komaida pulled away to look at him, deep concerning falling over his flushed features. Hinata-kun? Uh, that night, d did I really just fall asleep after that? I, I didn't like, um, do anything else. Komaida at least deserved Hinata's attempted at, at repercussion of whatever all this was. Komaida glanced over his shoulder, noticing the scene had moved on, returning to an extremely poorly edited footage. He took a moment to process what Hinata was going on about. Oh, oh, you were extremely tired that day. You mentioned it several times that evening, but I still insisted on coming to your room. I hope you can forgive me. What? Hinata couldn't even bring himself to acknowledge an apology that he definitely did not deserve. Oh my god, I I'm an asshole, I guess. Hinata-kun. Hinata grabbed Komaida's hips and jerked him forward, disrupting his balance enough that he had to grab the seat back. Tell me what you want me to do. Hinata-kun. Maybe that was a dangerous way of phrasing it. I bet it was. Tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> this game is, uh, this game is getting, 
why I now I know why you freaking motherfuckers wanted me to see the freaking mystery movie. You sick fucks! As always, you don't owe me. I want you to tell me. Of course, I've always wanted to feel. Mm, not that it matters what I want, but but it would probably feel good for you too if you could forget for a moment how impulsive I am. Baby, stop! So many people would fuck you, okay? Dear, I'm so gross. Though, you've been pretty good at forgetting that recently, which is both admirable and kind. He licked his lips and he not to notice that he'd missed a spot earlier. Fuck. Of course, I would never actually ask for something so intimate, particularly in a place like this. But there are other parts of Hinata-kun that I've thought about- <laughs> Oh my god! If you still mm, well, um, <laughs> zipping through the games in the description, oh my lord! <laughs> oh, have mercy on my soul. I'm gonna have to censor all of this shit out. I'm not. I'm just not sure if um you're ready. Ready for what? I'm always ready. I'm always ready, of course. Dear Lord, why did you guys want me to play? So I'm gonna get demonetized. Anything you want me to do, I've been ready. Wow. Wowie. So, <laughs> I can't say no to that. Hinata didn't feel all that reassured. D do you mean like emotionally? <laughs> do y'all go therapy, baby? I'm getting a degree in psychology. Oh, and I. <laughs> well, um. Hmm. Game's in description. Uh oh. Don't worry. It was after I left your cottage in my own room. I ruined your shirt and tie. Komaida whispered voice heavy with that familiar combination of just came and deep self-loathing. That's the best combination, okay? It took Hinata a few moments to realize that the credits were loading, an extremely quick scroll of the names of everyone on the island that went by, and then a long, drawn-out scroll of Komaida's name went by many times. He credited himself on lighting and catering and best boy grip. <laughs> A title which Hinata was skeptical of. Well, I guess we missed the mystery reveal. I suppose so, but don't let this fiction trouble you. The reality is that you do have your underwear. I've seen it, and would testify as to its location if asked. Well, that's great to know, Komaida. Hinata laughed as the lights came on. I don't feel like that was a feature length, but that's probably for the best. It was free, Hinata-kun. Hinata shrugged. At least it wasn't Wizard of Monomi. As they stood up, Komaida turned to him, but was unable to meet his eyes, instead fixated on the unfortunate stain. Uh, it's not okay to go outside like that. Do you want to wear my jacket? I'll wear your jacket! I'm not actually sure that's less suspicious. Here, I have an idea. So they're putting ketchup? Hinata-kun, that's a normal stain to get out of movie theater. I'm sure there's bleach at Rocket Punch. It's fine. It's fine. They made their way down the aisle. I hope no one thinks I got hurt because of the ketchup. That looks nothing like a blood stain at all. I'm sure it's fine. Fucking hell. Boo, 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 boo. Ugh. He not a jump, hating that Monokuma got the drop on him when he should have probably been expecting. Did you have fun solving the mystery? What mystery? I was hoping you would pick that one. Fucking Monokuma, you wild ass mother freaking bear. He not have felt himself go pale. The fuck did that mean? Haven't you noticed all this time I've been trying to get you all saying certain phrases on camera? It was all for the sake of completing my masterpiece of porno! All of this had been the land myself, a spot in filmmaking history. Is that the real reason why you kidnapped everyone? To make movies? Ugh, that's a lie. I wasn't playing that carefully. It was certainly a mystery in a lot of invasive and terrifying ways. So are you ready to tell me the answer to the mystery? If you were paying attention to the clues, I'm sure you'd figure it out. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> they weren't paying attention because they were fucking! Ask Omaida. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Hmm, judging by the clues, it was definitely Hinataka who stole his underwear. Hmm, wonderful! That sounds like a brilliant twist! Though maybe a bit obvious since the title was Hinata Hajime Underwear MP4. 
Well, that's probably because it was my underwear that was missing in the first place, so... Ugh, whatever. Let's get out of here. Okay, so the game's over. Gonna stop this. So that was a wild one. Um, y'all freaking suggested the mystery movie. You guys are a bunch of dirty ass mother freakers. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. I remember I will have the link to the first part with the prologue in the description below. And before we go, and hopefully I can do it before my camera dies, we got freaking showstopper of the freaking week. First showstopper is Garamy. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. I love you, boo. Woo, thank you. And second showstopper is Dude Pool 408. Thank you so much, man, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. Woo. If you want me to play the last movie, definitely let me know. Um, if you don't like this gay shit, I'm sorry. Um, X buttons right there. Okay. <laughs> and um, say thanks to this motherfucker for all this yaoi shit. <laughs> Bye. If you know any other yaoi games? Definitely leave it in the description, and I will check it out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, Make sure to like this video, make sure to comment if you want me to play the third part. Make sure to comment if you want me to do other things, blah 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 blah. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notifications every time I make a video. Make sure to subscribe, hashtag join the army army. Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you guys so much for joining my weep family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye! Woo!